Number 5. Jacksonville Clowns Surveillance videos in Jacksonville, Florida show clowns caught on people's porches and sidewalks. In one video, the clown clearly knows he was being recorded. The clown then grabs a pumpkin, tears it apart, and briefly stares at the camera before disappearing. While some find the clowns funny, others find them creepy, especially for women selling Halloween costumes not far from where it happened. Apparently, clowning, which started as a photography project, is already quite a craze in California. Some say that the clown sightings are just friends pranking friends ahead of Halloween parties. Fortunately, the Jacksonville police hasn't received any calls or complaints related to the incident. Number 4. Jane Rimmer On June 8, 1996, 23-year-old Jane Rimmer spent the night partying with friends in the Claremont suburb of Perth, Australia. After drinking at the Continental Hotel, they all decided to go to Club Bayview, a nearby nightclub. Instead of entering the club, they opt to go to a friend's house instead to continue their partying. The group returned to the Continental Hotel around midnight, where Jane decided to go home. Jane's friends left in taxi. This was the last time they saw her alive. On August 3, her body was found 25 miles away in a remote area near Wellard. A surveillance footage outside the Continental Hotel captured Jane being approached by an unidentified man after she splits with her friends. The footage suddenly switched to a different view of the hotel. Minutes later, both Jane and the man were gone, but the video didn't capture either of them leaving. It's widely believed that Jane was the victim of an unidentified serial killer who was also responsible for deaths of two girls during this time. No one knows if the man in the video is the one responsible for Jane Reamer's disappearance. His identity, along with the Claremont serial killer, remains a mystery. Number 3. Avonte Oquendo Surveillance video shows the tragic moment a 14-year-old autistic boy, Avonte Oquendo, escaping his Queens, New York school before turning up dead in the East River months later. Avonte is seen in the footage bounding down the hallways of his school and out the double doors that were carelessly left ajar by an unidentified man half an hour earlier. The video shows a man walking down the corridor and pushing the double door as he leaves. He fails to properly shut the door, leaving them slightly open. A little over 30 minutes later, Avonte runs down the same hall and through the open doors and disappears through them. Three minutes after Avonte disappears, a security guard notices the doors open and pulls them shut. After months of searching, his remains were found on the Queen's Bank of the East River on January 2014. Number 2. Amy Fry Pitson In May 11, 2011, Amy Fry Pitson signed her son Timothy out of his kindergarten class, citing a family emergency. They were then captured in a surveillance tape checking in and out of a Wisconsin hotel. Three days later, Fry Pitson was found dead in a Rockford, Illinois hotel room, an apparent suicide. Her son was nowhere to be found. A note was found saying that Timothy was safe with people who would care for him and love him. He'll never find him, Fry Pitson's note read. Amy exhibited very strange behavior prior to the incident that led investigators to believe that she had been planning Timothy's disappearance for months. In February and March 2011, she took two unexplained trips to the area he would later disappear from. She had an email account opened under her maiden name in 2007 and kept it a secret from her husband. Amy had suffered from depression and had reportedly left home before for extended periods of time. Four years later, the now 10-year-old Timothy is still missing. No one really knows for sure if Amy really passed him off to someone willing to raise him or if she killed her son and disposed of the body before taking her own life. Number 1. Lars Mittag In 2014, German tourist Lars Mittag was captured on a surveillance camera after showing some very bizarre behavior. He then vanished into thin air. The 28-year-old traveled with a group of friends in Bulgaria for vacation on June 30, 2014. 
Lars then got into a fight that left him with an injured ear, thus delaying his flight back home, which was originally scheduled on July 7. He then decided to rent a room in a hostel. That night, Lars called his mother and said he fears for his life. On July 8, Lars arrived to the airport for an appointment with the doctor to see if he would be able to fly. He appears on the surveillance video walking through the airport with all his things. 46 minutes later, the camera caught him again, running desperately to the exit, leaving all his things behind. He was then seen jumping over a barbed wire fence, according to witnesses, before disappearing in a nearby forest. Lars has no history of mental illness, and his bag that was left at the airport showed no signs of drugs.